Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 9.3 is about the inverse function. Before starting this exercise, I would like to explain that what do you mean by inverse function and how we can sketch the inverse function. By this way, the whole exercise will be very easy for us. The first thing is how we find the inverse function and what is inverse actually? Inverse we write with f with minus 1, f inverse minus 1, f of x, like this. It can be g with minus 1 power x, it can be h with minus 1 power x, there is no problem. It can be like as inverse function. So finding the inverse function, we uh, have like three steps to find the inverse function. Step number one is what we do. First of all, we should have one uh, working example. The f of x is suppose is 2x and minus 5. This is one example. And I want to make f inverse of this equation. Let's see. Step number one is in step number one, what we do? We write this write write f of x is equals to y. Step number one. Okay, the step number one is we write f x f of x is equals to y means I will write y is equals to two x minus five. Step number one is done. Step number two, what we do in step number two? In step number two, we do like make x as a subject. Make x as a subject. So it means when you want to make anything as a subject, and subject should be always positive. So step number two, I'm doing step number two. I will write by x as a subject, so x should be in left hand side. So y minus 5 will become plus 5 is equal to 2x. 2 will divide. So x is equal to y plus 5 divided by 2. This is step number 2. In step number 3, what we do is very simple. This we replace. There are two replacements here. The first replacement is what? Is we have to replace. Uh, x with f inverse and y with x. So it means this x will become f inverse. So step number three, I'm writing here. Step number three, this x will become f inverse and this y will become x and divided by 2 and this is the way we have done that how we can find the inverse function now sketching sketching uh, just before starting the sketch of the inverse function just note very important thing that the axis on x-axis and y-axis should have the same scale axes should have same scale Same scale means the distance on x-axis and y-axis should be same. For example, uh, I when I draw like uh, when I have this like axis, and when you want here to write one, two, three, and four, so this on y-axis should be like not one and two. Like distance is more, distance is less. No, distance should be same. So it means I will write here 1, 2, 3, and this is 4. This is very important. Okay. Uh, reflect And this how to sketch the inverse function. Very important. The inverse function means f inverse is a reflection. A reflection. I'm writing this. Reflection on y is equals to x. Y equals to x. It means I have to draw a line here. Y equals to x is this line. So I can have one line here first of all. Uh, this is y equals to x. And I have to extend this line like this. So this is y equals to x. 
complete line is y is equal to x and whatever the sketch of fx is here i have to reflect it can be here it can be here for example we have like this is minus one minus two minus three and minus four we do not need to write all the coordinates please this the sketch means the particular coordinates which we need uh, let's suppose we have the first here uh, a line a line is like this like this and this is f of x this is f of x I'm writing here this is f of x and i want to draw the inverse of this so it means when you want to draw the inverse of this you do not need to write all the coordinates just do it directly how we can do it directly that this coordinate like 0 4 will be here is 4 here and this coordinate links minus 2 0 will be here so when you join these this is called the reflection and you can extend like this and this is called f inverse okay second thing er, f inverse can be in quadratic form like how for example you have a sketch like this for example you have a sketch like this here so if this is f of x the f inverse x will be definitely the reflection so what we can do the reflection will be definitely the same here it can be it can be like this okay so it is possible that it can be like here but we have to draw this like here is coming here this coordinate here first point and second point is here we have actually exact coordinates not like this but i just want to give the concept okay this is f inverse so this is like uh, how we can sketch so for this purpose i have taken one example one question of 9.3 which is here okay the first part is uh like each of the following diagrams we have one to one function and one to one means uh, i i have made one video exercise 9.1 the first video the video number one you should watch this video what do you mean by one to one function and how we can can we draw our inverse function or not i explain in that okay to do draw the inverse function the function should be one to one this is like our requirement one to one function should be there okay let's see now we have to draw the inverse of this. First of all, what we need, we need a y is equal to x line. This is very important. And remember the scale should be same means you can see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This zero, two will become, this zero, two will be here, reflection, and two, six will become six, two. And teachers normally said this, we have to uh, switch the coordinates. Uh, yes, I know, but I think so. This is the easiest way and we have done it. This is and why this sketch is like this actually uh, because the scale here is more scale here is less in normally it should be same so it is possible here like this okay for this purpose what we need we need one one like y is equal to x this line and without this we cannot draw the sketch Okay, now what, how we can draw the sketch here, we should use 0, 2 will become 2, 0 here and 6, 0 will become like it should be uh, 0, 6 up and when you draw the sketch, the sketch will be and this point is like this, like this. So, always the reflection actually, you have to extend this, this is uh, like here uh, 6 so this should be 0 comma 6 and 6 0 is a reflection and it is possible sometime it will not intersect when we have like 2 2 or not but it's possible just to explain for example this question what we need we need actually i want to make this according to the okay y is equal to So what we need, you have to do like this. This inverse function, yeah. So, 
Uh, actually, once again, I will tell you this this part, uh, this part, the difference should be same so that you can have the exact sketch. And for this part, sketch of the color like uh, inverse function, we have a straight line like this y equals to x. It should be like 3 and 3 and 4 and 4. Okay. Now, what we can do when we draw the sketch of this part, this point will move here. This distance should be same. One point is here. This one zero will become here, here, and this will be here. So I can do one thing. I can extend like this, join, and then like this. So this is the one way is how we can draw this inverse function sketch. So today's target was only this. You should know how to find the inverse function and how to sketch the inverse function and when you want to sketch the inverse function, please the scale should be same on both the axes. So by this way, we have done just one question of 9.3 with explanation. I hope that this explanation will definitely help you. And remember, this explanation is very important for the entire ninth, like inverse function. So once again, thank you so much and have a nice day.